doing here? We're actually just doing a little bit of investigation work for a new garden room. Yes, another one of these garden rooms, the new fashion. Everyone's working from home. Everyone needs a garden room. And I just think it's really nice, actually, if you've got a lovely garden, you've got the space and you're not going to work, you can afford to do it. You've got no more uh, season ticket and all the rest of it. And I think it's better for the environment that we're all at home. But there you go. A lot of people might have a different view on that. So we're going to pop a pilot in, which is done here. Another one in the corner over there. Because the site's rolling away, we're going to need to use longer screws at one end, shorter screws at the other end, because we want to get back to a similar ground condition to make sure the building is nice and solid. So we're going to do a test, a pull test. You've seen this before on the channel. And we'll see what sort of reading we get. And I always think this is quite exciting. So what do you know about the ground here from what the customers said? Well, the customer was saying it's on chalk. Right. So that can be quite tough. But you uh, can get through it all oh, right? Yeah, we can. It might take a couple of, a couple of goes, but right. yeah, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Really, but uh, yeah, each place is different, so yeah, that sort of knowledge that you can get from the customer is useful as well. Mm. So. Okay, mate, so you've got we've got the outside perimeters all pegged out, and all we're doing now is just putting something in what we call no man's land, which is where we'd never need to land a screw. So yeah. you're just so you've come in, say, a meter either way, because we'd effectively be around the outside, wouldn't we, here all the way around, and then we'd be through the middle yeah. and pick it up any point loads. All right, mate, let's get on and do it. Cool. Up here. You can see the chalk coming up through the yeah. Through the thread there. Through. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see that's very chalky. So we. But I think that's okay because it's it's not rock hard. Fine. So you think that that's a good outlook? The, uh, I'm, I'm happy yeah? with that. All right. Yeah, okay. I'm very happy with that. Can't move Sal's car because the battery's died because we haven't moved it since. <laughs> Jump start it because we're offended. Oh, so okay. Do you want me to do a ramp up and down onto is the Is it? Thingy? Can we not no, roll it back? It. Can we not put it? Oh, is it? You can't put it in. Um, you can't put it in neutral. It doesn't have a neutral. I don't know if it does. I'll have a look. Yeah, because I can roll my car. Um, yeah, you should be able to roll a, an automatic yeah. in neutral. Yeah, because of when they tow them. Right, let me have a look. In which yeah. case, I'll push it and I'll, get, I'll do it yeah. now. Otherwise, well, we can help. We do do car talk time on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you recording? <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Yeah, it's not top too cold today. A little bit grim, the weather, but a bit, a bit miserable. Oh, yeah, do you want, do you want to, um, if you take that off there, I could use the trolley as ballast as well. Just, a, just something, isn't it, you know? So if, a, if it's sideways like this. And I can put my foot, I can lean on it like that. How was Peter? He's one of my avid viewers and yeah. but he's a really nice guy. He's, uh, I'm very lucky, all of the people who watch the channel and communicate with me, yeah. it's just a shame I can't answer every single question, comment. I really wish I could, it's just time. Oh, sure. You know? That's great that is, I can stand on there. No sweat. It's definitely found something hard there, mate. It's going in its own direction. Yeah. Going to go for it. does sound well. Stop there. Now we can get the uh, pull test rig. Just put it back on there. So it's time for our pull test. 
Okay, mate. Got it. That's it. And you want that perpendicular, you want that plumb over the top of there. I do. Oh. That looks perfect, mate. Look at that. More luck than judgment. Done a few pull tests now, mate, haven't we? We have. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh yeah, we're all we're all geared up and ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. 22, 23, 24, 25, 27. Fine. So it's not dissimilar to, no. to that one. So that's, that's a good, good indication. So you can use that to work out how many screws will do and the length of screws that will. Brilliant. To do that. So, uh, yeah. Fantastic. That's the pull test. We love a So there we have it, we've got two screws in, the site's running away from us. So we've got a 1500 screw in at this end of the site. We've got a 1250 screw in at this end of the site. And what we will eventually use in this far corner will be a two meter screw because we want it to be level with that section in the other side, if you like the high spot. And so we did it with a 15 knowing that we'll have about 500 out the ground if we'd have used the two meter screw to where we wanted it, we wouldn't have got the rig over the top. And that thing weighs a hell of a lot. So you don't want to be jacking it up. It needs to sit firmly on the ground. And if you've got soft ground, for example, if we were going into that flower bed there and you had that rig over the top, the chances are as you're doing the pull test, it's just going to want to push its way into the soft ground. So I suppose there are instances where you may be better off with a couple of bits of railway sleeper, either side put the rig on on that as well and then that will spread the load even more and i expect that's what i would do if i was in that flower bed more mess but that's it so we're almost ready now we're pretty satisfied with the pull test that will enable me to work out how many screws i want i've got to work out the weight of the building so i'll do a takeoff of the timber and I will do a, how can I put it? I'll do like a spreadsheet and I'll add it all up. So I'll be talking about the timber, the insulation, the flooring, the cladding, the roofing materials, the glazing, the whole lot. And I'll come up with a figure. Now I've done it a couple of times before. So I've got a good idea, roughly per square meter, what the weight is. And then I'll add on a safety factor as well. And let's take this for example, predominantly big flat area. Very rarely in the UK, especially in the southeast here, we get a little bit of snow. You put a foot of snow on this, you can, that could add a serious amount of weight at the time. And generally speaking, the winter you get the snow and before that you've got the rain and the ground is all soggy and wet. Then you're adding another tonne and a half, two tonnes through the walls. You never know. So you've got to make sure you err on the side of caution. Thanks for joining me. Catch you all again soon.